Hello everyone, my name is Floor Extraordinaire, and it is another beautiful day in the Civilization franchise as we continue to wait for the next installment of the New Leaders Pass, but while we are waiting, I want to talk about this guy. For those of you who do not know, this guy is Julius Caesar, and his addition with the New Leaders Pass, kind of as a separate point to that pass, was certainly something that caught me off guard, and I think it caught a few other people off guard because we had no idea we would be getting an extra leader, let alone an extra leader, for free. Now, even though the pass is free for Anthology Edition owners and owners of every single piece of DLC, and trust me, my wallet is already dying from having shelled out that much cash, even for the Vikings DLC pack, but I digress. I have a bit of a complaint, and yes, it is free, but something just bugs me with Caesar's abilities. I've already kind of harped on uh, with Lincoln, with Nzinga, and even with uh, Saladin and his flanking bonuses, and I've just felt some of these leader abilities have kind of drop the ball in regards to gameplay functionality and just immersion factors. And while I know not every leader is going to be super complex like Lady Six Sky and having to plan your observatories or campuses um, and have your cities be within five to six tiles of the capital, I do want at least some kind of complexity to the player's playstyle and to the Civ's playstyle. If you take a look at Caesar's ability, Veni Vidi Vici, you gain 200 gold after conquering a city for the first time and 100 gold after destroying a barbarian outpost. Both amounts become 500 gold after researching the skill technology, and this amount is of course based on the standard speed. I've seen a lot of players complaining, and rightfully so, I might add that this scaling is, one, only relevant in the ancient and classical eras before it takes quite a while past the medieval and renaissance eras, roughly with the industrial era, to actually get steel to help with the scaling. Um, so that's a valid complaint, I believe. But two, I would say, is that this ability is just incredibly basic. I think some of the vanilla leaders had far more intriguing abilities. Even if you just look at Trajan's ability, where he has bonuses to helping Rome expand, I just find the Trajan's column ability, or Trajan's leader ability, to be more relevant in the grand scheme of things with additions like Secret Societies, if you want to combo the Void Singers, or something like that. I just can't really find reason for how basic Caesar's ability is. I mean, if you're going to streamline something like that and reward players for conquering cities, you might as well give them a unique building or a monument even to combo with that for conquered cities. I get that it is a lot intensively to design a new unique building or a unique district for that matter, and I'm not asking for that, but if you wanted to, you could just easily edit the monument, give them something like a triumphal arc, and make like, purchasing land in conquered cities easier, give them faster culture output, or at least just have them have something, just a flat out buff to monuments, even if you don't want to give them something unique to encourage them to expand beyond just the gold, because I find other civs just do that better, like Mongolia, like even Greece with Gorgo, and it's just more impactful and flavorful instead of just buying Caesar and shelling that out to connect your 2k account and everything. I mean, yes, Caesar does have some remarkable drip if you look at it. It is by far one of the best pieces of armor in the game, and that is incredible seeing how lazily, at least in my opinion, some of the new leader pass designs were with reused animations, and while that may be present in some of the new leader pass leaders, that is some incredible drip, I will say. If anything, the drip does balance out the leader ability. All jokes aside, I just see this edition or iteration of Rome with Caesar being less thematic and faithful to the initial premise of Rome in Civ 6, which was building upon and further developing your civilization with unique monuments, even if you had to conquer new uh, cities founded by other players to expand your empire. While other earlier civs may have had some rudimentary and unimpressive abilities if they were a bit heavy-handed on some aspects like combat and warfare, this is just far too plain to my liking. I really like the original ability for Caesar, which was he gained a wild card upon conquering any of the other Civ Six leaders' capitals. And while this ability would have been plain too, I think it would have added more thematic flavor to Caesar and to Rome as, I mean, you're adding more wild card slots, you can do a lot with that, and you can further alter your policies and even research new techs and civics quickly, depending on the playstyle you want to go. Wild cards, while they would be putting a band-aid on the greater issue of Rome being too much of an all-rounder civ in my opinion, I just... I can't, I can't really get with Caesar's Rome, and I'm not going to harp on it again. 
for too much longer, but I'm interested to hear what you guys in the comments have to say about Rome and Caesar coming to Civ 6. So let me guys know your experience, your thoughts on the gold scaling problems, at least that I've seen many other players have, and your thoughts in general on how Civ 6's new leader pass is coming along.